Hey guys, welcome to lesson number four. Now we have the tree, but of course we are lacking materials, we are lacking, lacking lights, so it's pretty basic stuff right now. So we're going to create now the materials and the lights, and we're going to use Octane Render for that. You can use any render that you have. If you don't have uh, Octane, you can use the, the default render from Cinema 4D, but well, I'm going to use Octane Renderer for a nicer effect. So let's go and open the Live Viewer for Render for Octane Renderer. Let's click here and let's make this smaller like this. All right, let's begin by creating some materials. Let's create materials create a glossy material and we're going to begin with the snow and well we can use this white glossy material for the snow pretty simple now duplicate this material and let's make this a brown color like this and now throw it into the trunk of the tree. Now duplicate this, open your material and let's try to make this a nice green tone. Now throw this this color into the subdivision surface of the tree. This one, this one, two and three and let's see how it looks looking good yeah it's looking good now let's create some colors for the ornaments let's create one color which will be blue a blue like this is cool Another color will be red color, you know, for Christmas. Can be like this type of red. Another one will be yellow. So let's create a yellow color. This one is good. And maybe we can also add a pink color like a fuchsia like this okay these are good now let's place these materials into the ornaments and this is really random uh, really just take the ornament and just make sure to place the ornament the color on the sphere for example you can throw it here and this will be yellow like this the next one can be red for these we can use blue Use red here. Yellow and we can use blue in here. Now for the torus and the cube, for the little thing above the sphere, we can use the same yellow tone. So I'm going to fast forward here because you know how to do this. Just select the materials and drop it in the ornament that you want to paint and that's it. So I'm going to skip ahead on this part.
All right, now that we have this, then it's time to finish some stuff. First, let's go to objects and create an daylight, an octane daylight, like this. And now go for the sun, for the daylight type, and increase the power a lot until you have a nice tone. For example, this tone are really beautiful. You can see that the the tree looks really good in here. And here on the same daylight type. You can click on ground and instead of a black tone, let's set up, I don't know, like a bluish tone. Either way, we are not going to see this on the final render, but well, let's play around with the sky a little bit. Not too much. I guess blue sky like this. All right. Now we can decrease the power a little bit. All right. This looks very, very good. It's like a porcelain Christmas tree. Now we're not going to to create any more lights because I want to use a daylight like this because it's like an um, environment light. If I use, for example, an area light like this. I'm going to have to point too much of them and we're, n we're only going to see one part of the tree so it's not worth it for this time. With this is more than enough you have you can play around with the power of the daylight something like this where you have nice shadows and nice colors too. Now we have this and to finish this part, I want to create something because you know that the, the this Christmas will be inside another Christmas a ball in, inside another Christmas ornament. So I want to make this into an ornament itself. So all you have to do is to take one of these ornaments. Let's say, for example, this one. Make a duplicate out of this. Now take this duplicate and drag it to the middle of the tree. And let's increase this ornament. Let's set a size of 3. Let's see how it looks. Alright. Covered the entire tree. And that's exactly what we want for this because it's going to be a Christmas ornament that it's going to be inside the same tree so that we can create the loop. So let's finish by turning this off and let's create a camera that goes in here. Let's create a camera and turn it on and then we're turning it off so we, that we can move around and then go back to our camera view. So let's save this document and let's go to the next lesson.